Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I sat down this evening to do some pre-Week and League rewards investing, and I thought of a few things that I wanted to share with you guys. It's kind of like a trading tips, kind of like a market talk, trading tips analysis video, just looking at the market and some stuff that I noticed today, and stuff that I've been seeing, and it's kind of making sense to me right now. Um, regarding Team of the Week cards and Scream cards, I want to talk about the rarity of cards this year. Uh, especially when it terms to in, in terms of special cards that are in packs. Right now, when I'm recording this, it is late Wednesday night, and we just got a new Team of the Week in packs today on Wednesday. Uh, last week's Team of the Week was pretty solid. A lot of people liked it with Ben Yedder, um, with Griezmann, Hummels, Ducore, Nangolan, Di Maria, a lot of really solid players in that Team of the Week. And we saw a lot of those players rise. Even in a couple hours out of packs, you've seen Nine Golan go up a decent amount. We'll go over here to Footbin and check them out. Uh, Nine Golan is 93,000 coins. This card just yesterday, I believe, uh, a couple days ago, Sunday, he was 72K. Um, and on the hourly graph, where was he at yesterday? He was, he was 80K, and he's already up basically 10K in 24 hours of um, being out of packs. Some of these other guys in Team of the Week 6... Uh, ben Yedder's up like 40,000 coins. Griezmann's kind of chilling still in the same area. Hummels is up a couple K. Ducore is up like seven or 8,000 coins. So what is the deal with this team of the week? And why did this team of the week rise so quickly out of packs? Well, there's a couple things we have to keep in mind with this. First of all, the cards that rose, like we look at Ducore as well. This is just a meta card that a lot of people are going to want to use. Look, he's up 10,000 coins since his lowest point on Sunday of last week. And basically, that's what I want to look at in this video is how do we know what cards are meta? How do we know which cards are going to rise out of Team of the Week? And how much are they going to rise? This week really gave us an answer to that and how that's going to work in the market this year pertaining to pack SBCs. Even we had a promo running. So there were promo packs in the store that EA was refreshing every day. But we didn't get as many pack SBCs during this week of Ultimate Scream compared to the first week of Ultimate Scream, which I think really affected the supply of these Team of the Week cards today. And I, I really, really do think that that played a huge difference um, into that today. I mean, you think about it this way. There were a couple days uh, during the second, basically since this Team of the Week has been out or the second week of Scream, We've only gotten probably four or five pack SBCs, unlike during the first week when that first team of the week was out. We had two SBCs almost every single day. So every single day, those team of the week cards in team of the week five were getting pummeled by pack supply. You guys probably remember Wijnaldum. People started looking at Thursday investing at around 150K. He dropped to 140, like right out of packs. Um, and then he finally was sold off into the weekend and then went back up. This is him right here. So he was like 140, he went down below that, went to 144 on Sunday, and now he's rising back up after he's gotten more rare. He links to new Team of the Week cards. He's Liverpool, he's out of packs. But it took him longer because he had all this supply during the week. His low, we looked at the Team of the Week six cards. This cards, these cards from this past Team of the Week, a lot of their lowest times on the market were on Sunday, we just looked at um, Sunday right here, 241,000 coins for Ben Yedder. Boom, now he's 289. And of course, we did just look at Ducore and Nine Golan. Both of their lowest points were on Sunday. But if you go back again, look at this Wijnaldum. Sunday, he was 170, and he went down to 149 by Wednesday. And that was because of all the SBCs that were dropped in that time frame. That week, the Team of the Week 5 was in packs. We had Under the Spotlight. We had... Uh, the UEFA marquee matchups and the Champions Path U UCL SBCs that came out during that week. And we were getting like two of the Scream SBCs per day. Um, like the Dracula's Army, the Tomb Raider, Black Cats, Curse the Werewolf, Beware the Lion, and Zombies. We were getting like two of those SBCs per day when this Team of the Week was in packs. And that really, really affected the supply. Now, this week again, we didn't have as many SBCs for Team of the Week 6 when they were in packs. And that's why you see some of these cards rising out of packs already. And that's kind of the big thing that I wanted to make well known to you guys this week is since we had a decrease in the amount of those pack SBCs, going forward from here, if we see that again, um, or if we see a heavy amount of pack SBCs during a weekend or during a Monday or Tuesday when we're thinking about, hey, maybe some of these cards are going to be good to invest in for Team of the Week, 
if there's been a lot of pack SBCs and their prices have done nothing but go down, that's something that we might want to stay away from actually investing in because we know they're going to have that much more supply. Think of that graph of White and Alden, who usually, like this Ducore was cheapest on Sunday. Most of the times in a non-promo week, when there's not the promo packs, there's not a lot of stuff going on midweek, the cheapest day for informs is Saturday night or Sunday. But when we continue to have those pack SBCs, a lot of packs open during the week, or league SBCs as well, that could affect the supply of a lot of these cards. These, This team of the week right here with Ducore, that team of the week six, they escaped the um, initial Bundesliga League SBC frenzy, I believe, because I think that League SBC came out um, when... Actually, no, that, that came out right away. The, B, the Bundesliga League SBC came out right when these cards came into packs. Now I'm remembering, that is correct. If we go back and look at Ben Yedder's graph, the Bundesliga League SBC came out on that Wednesday, and these cards were insanely low on that Wednesday because they had all those Bundesliga League SBC packs, um, other pack supply SBCs, all being opened at once, first day. And these were actually the cheapest on the first day. That's why you see Ben Yedder 197, all the way up to a 262. Then down to 241, weekend league sell-off, and then bam, back now up to 289. So the league SBCs do play a big part into this as well. I really don't know if the current team of the week is low in terms of... The, I don't think a lot of people are doing the Chinese league SBC today. I could be wrong about that, but it just by the way that these prices look, they are pretty low and they are pretty cheap. Um, so maybe some people are doing that SBC. Like a lot of these cards, if it discard already... I just don't know if these cards are going to rise up and act like we had last week with Team of the Week 6 because there's just not as many meta cards in here that you would use. Bellarabi would be meta, Mbappe, Fabinho, uh, and Kulu, and Pulisic. Is that really it? I mean, to be honest, Saul is, is sort of meta, but like nothing super duper crazy. But this Team of the Week is something I'm going to be watching this week, especially for a guy like Fabinho or Bellarabi for a, um, a lot more... Uh, budget, inform card that you could use to spice up your team. A guy like Bellarabi is who, somebody you would want to watch this week and watch to see if we do get that SBC content throughout the week to really see if uh, he's going to get a lot of supply, which might make his card a little bit less investable um, during the week. So let me check his price right now. Footbin says 51,000 coins, which is exactly where he's at. Um, Three-star weak foot, four-star skills, six-foot... Not the best card ever, but it's fast. It's Bundesliga. It's a right mid. You know, his direct competition is Serge Gnabry, stuff like that. We'll look at some of those cards for investing later on in the week. Um, but I just wanted to make this video today to kind of talk to you guys about, hey, when you see the pack supply and the pack SBCs, um, that's a really good way to gauge how rare the team of the week is going to be and how good it's going to be in, to invest in those cards when they do go out of packs. That was the main thing that I wanted to cover today. I want to talk about screen cards as well um, because these cards are just honestly very rare and this is something that we can learn going forward um, in terms of what cards are going to be good in like when we get Team of the Knockout stage, when we get some of those cards and some of those promos, what kind of cards are going to be good to invest in out of packs based on their pack weight. And from what I've seen with these screen cards so far, their pack weight is pretty stinking low. Uh, let's try to get all the screen versions of Deli Alley in here. How many pages of Scream Deli Ali do we have? He isn't back in packs yet. Obviously, he was in team number one of Ultimate Scream. So his supply is going to be less since he is out of packs. Right now in the PS market at this time, he only has nine pages. It is later at night. There's only three million live transfers. So maybe he has like 18 pages or 20 pages during the day. But 20 pages compared to some of the other informed cards in this game. I did a comparison a couple weeks back with Zlatan's Scream card and um, Harry Kane's inform card. Granted, that week, that Team of the Week 5 that Harry Kane was in got a lot of supply in terms of uh, that Team of the Week. But these Scream cards are just very rare. And this is one way that you can kind of figure out how rare the Scream cards are going to be is by going up here in the Promo Pack section and clicking the Options button down below to look at the pack odds. Less than 1% odds on getting one of these players in a 25,000 coin pack that's a really good way to see the odds, but the best way to see odds is going to be later on in the year when we have lightning rounds with 100Ks, with um, 50K packs, 
doing the pro, uh, pack probabilities on those types of packs especially. We did have 50k packs, I think on like Monday or something of this week. They did put 50k packs in the store at some point. Um, but still, when I think the percentage for the screen cards was like 1%, which is very, very low. Especially for a promo this early in the game when they don't usually run lightning rounds. There's less packs opened when they don't actually have lightning rounds out. Um, so that makes the cards more rare. And with that probability percentage being so rare as well, that's just made these scream cards very, very rare on the market. Now, I know these cards are coming back into packs today on Halloween. Happy Halloween, by the way. Um, hopefully you guys have some good costumes or whatever. But Bernard is down 200,000 coins. He is down to 200k. So he's down a little bit. A lot of these other scream cards are down as well. And I really like these guys rising out of packs because... The cards that EA has give, have given us for this set, they're just cool, they're fun, they have good upgrades, and they're going to fit into a lot of people's teams. Ro Magnoli, Deli Ali, James Rodriguez, even guy like, like Otamendi is going to be very high. If you see a big price drop on him when he goes back into packs this weekend, that's a card I would be very interested in because his price has not fluctuated a lot so far same thing with bernard if you see him at like 190 or below we'll see what happens this weekend with packs if they do bring out a lot of pack supply pack sbcs or maybe their first lightning round of fifa uh 20 that would be something to watch uh lack salt is getting pretty cheap in packs now insignate almost 800k gamero under 100 a lot of people want to buy firmino for 600k i have a feeling he could hit that this weekend adama 322 payette 79 so we're just going to have to watch a lot of these cards in the next, uh, this weekend, basically, because these cards do have a very low pack weight, but if you see any sort of like sell-off or any sort of panic on the market, that's going to be your cue to pick up a lot of these cards. Even Bernard being down like 10,000 coins is honestly not too bad. I know some people that are just thinking, hey, these cards are down a little bit now. I know they might drop a little bit um, when they come back into packs, but at least at the moment, they feel like they want to take the chance, go get a card for their team because they almost don't feel like it's going to be low enough because these cards are so rare. Um, I still think the cards are going to drop at some point this weekend. I think EA has a pretty decently pack filled of content, uh, a weekend filled of content ahead for us. So that's what I wanted to kind of say about that. I do feel like they could drop some more this weekend, especially like guys that I already feel are very inflated, like Adama Traore. I think he's very inflated. But I do think these Scream cards are going to rise uh, a decent amount out of packs, especially as we continue to get special cards in the game, we continue to get cool cards that people want to use in foot uh, and want to mess around with and try out. So James Rodriguez is 322k with a Hunter Chem style. So still, that's a, a card I think a lot of people are going to want to use. And you can kind of, you know... The informs and the scream cards kind of work similarly. The special cards all work the same at some way and form in this game because they all go out of packs at some point. Yes, they could return back in packs for whatever reason EA would do that. But at some point, they're in team of the week or they're in a promo week and they go out of packs after that. And a lot of people invest in players to rise out of packs, which is a very common thing. But I wanted to kind of bring you this guy, bring you guys this video today talking about rarity of informs talking about stuff on the market in terms of um, when cards are rare, how do you know if they're rare, and how much pack supply affects rarity. I wanted to bring this video to you guys today talking about this um, because it's going to help us with our team of the week investing going forward. Um, and especially I'm eyeing some of these players in this week's team of the week. Again, team of the week seven, I mentioned Fabinho, I mentioned Bellarabi, I mentioned Mbappe, Saul, and honestly in Kulu as well. It's a, not a bad card. Not a terrible card. Pulisic maybe as well. Um, by the way, Pulisic getting a dynamic image on the bench. That's um, that's pretty rare. A dynamic image for a bench player is pretty rare. Um, but again, this week might not have, not have as many meta players as one of the past Team of the Weeks did. Like with Griezmann, Ben Yedder, um, and some of those guys in like last week's Team of the Week. But there are still some notables in here that I think if we do have another week of kind of low pack supply and not very many pack um, SBCs, pack supply SBCs, we could see some of these guys rise out of packs a decent amount. Again, so if we don't see a lot of those SBCs, uh, it's it's really kind of a tough situation because you're almost put in a position where you have to wait until Tuesday to buy. Like the day before they go out of packs is honestly when you have to wait to buy for these cards because 
We could you could buy on Sunday night, but then you might get screwed by a pack supply on Monday or Tuesday, which then is an issue. So again, for these cards, I would probably wait until Tuesday just to be safe. They might be up maybe two or three k from where they were on Sunday night, like last week's team of the week. If we didn't get supply, uh, or if we don't get supply, that's where they could be again. But that's kind of the safe route to do it. So I, I just wanted to bring this again to kind of inform you about supply, how to know when cards are rare, and how to know. Um, how to just judge the supply of cards on the market based on their pack weight value and based on the SBCs that we do get during the week. Now, of course, sometimes crazy amounts of demand trump things like a Ben Yedder card. His pro his card probably still would have rose out of packs even if he would have gotten packed a bunch like Team of the Week 5 did. Um, but Team of the Week 6 didn't get packed a ton, and that's why we're seeing it rise right now in FIFA Ultimate Team. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. If you have any questions, comment down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.